Good morning, American Jiu-Jitsu. We are now going to go into specific training. We have completed all the way up to fourth degree black belt, and now we're gonna go back a little bit and work a little bit more technical on specific techniques. Today I am blessed with my partners, uh, Shion, Kathy, and Billy. Again, we're still practicing health social distancing. Uh, all of these videos are broadcasted or, or featured on our American Jiu Jitsu LI page on Facebook, American Jiu Jitsu LI on Instagram, and American Jiu Jitsu LI on YouTube. So go to YouTube, subscribe, and like to it. You'll see a full library of all the videos as well as our Facebook group page. Uh, also, on AJJCenters.com, we Zoom our classes, almost six classes a day that's available. Go to our AJJCenters.com to get the Zoom codes. Uh, you can email me at AmericanJiuJitsuLI at gmail.com for passwords or speak to another um, student uh, to attend those Zoom classes as well. So now we're going to work today. The first tape is going to be on Shodan. Now Shodan means first degree or first level, but we actually introduced this technique at the green black level, which you can go back on your files on your video files, and you can see that we've demonstrated these already, but now we're gonna go into more of the technicalities, the more teaching. So what I say about all the videos that I have broadcasted over the last several months are more assistant tapes. They're not as per se training tapes, but they're more relevant for students within our system uh, uh, because they've been taught all the techniques or the technicalities a little bit more specifically. We're kind of like breezing through it to keep contents going and to keep you guys uh, making sure that you're getting your training. But now we're gonna go a little bit more uh, specific about the techniques. You know, in today's environment where there's such controversies and people marching down the streets and protesting and stuff like this, and believe me, I'm not a political person, so I'm not gonna get political on these tapes, but I'm a self-defense expert and I am gonna talk about self-defense. Um, you know, when you have a minimal amount of training, uh, some of the techniques you might use might seem a little bit crude and might get a result that you might not be happy with. Uh, the thing about jiu-jitsu that's very confusing, uh, and again, people hear that word jiu-jitsu today and right away they're assuming Brazilian jiu-jitsu. We have all the love in the world for Brazilian jiu-jitsu, but that's not what we do. We teach you how to defend yourself against a Brazilian jiu-jitsu person, but we, the only, what makes us successful, because they're very aggressive and they're very knowledgeable in their skills, is we don't practice an art with uh, rules. Uh, we're allowed to hit in the eyes and the groin and the nose and the throat because we don't follow those rules. That doesn't mean we disrespect other arts, it just means we're different, okay? Um, if I was gonna do a grappling seminar, I would bring a grappling expert in. If you want a self-defense ex expert, you want me. And that's really what we're all about. So we're not comparing or challenging or better or worse, we're just trying to be specific about what it is that we do. And now today, in today's environment, that holds true so much more because um, you don't wanna do a technique that's overly done because you might live to regret that and you don't wanna do a technique that's not good enough. So whenever you talk about submission, it's you feeling that you're in capacity of being able to control this situation and subdue somebody. At any given time, if the person pulls away from the submission, we could turn around and make this technique a much more substantial technique or a much more serious technique. But when you have knowledge, you wanna have those options. You don't walk around the whole day yelling. When you do talk loud, people should wanna like look up and notice you. Normally you wanna speak at a calm level. Normally when you do your techniques, you wanna do them at a calming level. As your knowledge increases, you wanna be able to subdue somebody, not just, just hit them in the eye or hit them in the throat. But if in the midst of subduing somebody, that's what it turns into, we have that out our back door or right in front of us as well. So first technique we're gonna work on this tape is called the Shodan, which is a submission technique, which is simply when you take a person's wrist and you bend it beyond the point it can go. It gets into all those nerves and joints, manipulation, and it hurts. Uh, it's not gonna kill anybody. Worst thing that might happen is a wrist, a wrist might be getting bro broken, but we have total control. So we introduce this. This actually is a first degree black belt technique, which again, if you go back on the videotape, you'll see that but we introduce this at green black and that's what we're gonna do on this tape. So this tape is specifically for Shodan. A little bit of a shorter tape, but it'll be a little bit more specific about how this technique is applied. And remember, at any given time, we can turn around and change this into a much more substantial technique if the person pulled away or was able to pull away or got maybe much more violent than we anticipated when we felt we were able to submit this person. So let's look at the first thing. The first thing is, just uh, let's do a Shodan without any technique. So the first thing is that you need to ever do a pin uh, on a wrist manipulation is you need to have a base. So 
uh, Shan Billy's uh, left hand is basing out Kathy's elbow, all right? With his right hand, he's putting it in that position that we call Shodan, and then like an accordion, he presses it together, and that's where the pain occurs. Now, some, even law enforcement, teach the technique a little bit different, and I beg to differ, where they take the technique and they don't have that base there, what they do is bring the other hand through and just, like in other words, put the elbow on your chest without a base. No, 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 with the other hand. Yeah, just put that on your chest. Now, look, don't, don't put the base there. So where I disagree with this is if Kathy slipped out her elbow, she's very easily escaped from that technique. The one thing that you must understand is that notice when she hung, he puts that base there, then he feeds that hand through, now Kathy tries to slip out. Can't slip out. It's locked in place, okay? So, understand that these little intricacies make big difference. So a person says, well, I know that technique. Well, if there's nothing securing that base, what's gonna stop that person from slipping out? If you notice when Shihan put that hand there, he's so used to doing it, he's not used to doing it the wrong way, that a person can slip out of the technique, okay? So always remember that when you pin somebody, you have to have two directions, okay? And you have to have something supporting it, whether it be the mat, whether it be the wall, whether it be your body, to create that counter pressure. So let's see, look at that one more time before we do any kind of technique from it. He has the pressure, he applies the pain. He shoots the hand underneath the elbow. See, now securing the elbow. Now from here, he can switch hands. Now we have to take the other hand, grab the person's head, or if they didn't have hair, grab the back of their collar and totally submit and, and control the person into what we call a walkout situation. So let's look at two techniques from those techniques that uh, one is we take the person out high because the person's hands are down and they might be bullying us. So we give them a little atemi and then the person's hands are up where we feel we don't want to put the atemi into the face because the hands are here. So now we're going to atemi low. The second shodan that we show on this technique is a low variation. So what happens here is as the atemi's right low, her hands drop. Now look what he does. I call this a beggar's hand. He grabs that wrist with the beggar's hand, comes through the elbow, folds it like a hammerlock, brings it tight into his body, now allows the other hand to transfer through, and now he's got that left hand to do whatever he wants with it. To either submit her, control her, walk away, or he can gouge her eyes out if it turns ugly. So when, when people say, well, oh, I forgot the good technique, did that, the person pulled away, and the fight got ugly, okay. We could be a submission. Listen, if you haven't learned in recent days or the last month or so, that if you do extreme for everything, everybody's got one of these things. Where is that? Can you see that? There it is. Everybody's got one of these video things. Everything you do, you're videotaped. The average American person is videotaped over 200 times a day. Everybody, you pass the mall, you pass this, 200 times a day. So you're gonna be held accountable and responsible, which you should be, if you get into a situation. You don't pull your gun and shoot somebody if they don't agree with you. But when a person crosses that line and looks to do bodily harm, you have a God-given right to defend yourself. But how extreme you are with the self-defense is basically gonna be, somebody's gonna be videotaping it. So what's the big deal if you submitted somebody, because that's what you felt you could do, and their wrist got broken in the transition, maybe. Okay. But if you take them out and you finalize them, besides ethically, you're gonna be legally responsible for that. This is why submission is a big part of jujitsu. And please get it straight. My system does evolve from Japanese jujitsu. And then many years ago, I've been doing this for 51 years, I created American Jiu-Jitsu, not 51 years ago, about 30 something years ago, 34, I created American Jiu-Jitsu and, and over the years of my life, have accumulated a system that is what we call combative Jiu-Jitsu. So it's not Brazilian, it's not traditional Japanese, but I have trained in all of them to create American Jiu-Jitsu. So now, let's look at that little technique one more time. From here, he attempts low to drop her hands, he submits the hand, comes underneath, through the elbow, puts that hammerlock on, now feeds that right hand through to submit her, takes the left hand and it's totally available. So let's look at those one more time, time do two techniques and we'll be concluded. So Temi here, uh, boom, her hands come up, he has it, comes there, brings it through, locks her in place. The next technique from here is her hands are up, he Temi's low, comes through the arm from here, submits 
hold, and lock. Beautiful. These are two techniques that have many more techniques attached to it. If you go to the black belt list, you'll see all the techniques that are attached to it. Um, and again, this is when your mindset feels that you can submit somebody. This is not what we teach when you first join American Jiu Jitsu. We teach more of a combative system where we're doing combos and strikes and knees and elbows, things that people could relate to when they first join. But then at Green Black, which is about a year and a half after training, we start to show you techniques that evolve into things like this. Not exclusively, but it gives you the options. In life, you can't be just one way. If you are, you probably have a very small, small group of friends. You gotta be a person that's pliable, bendable, adaptable, and can be able to adjust the situation accordingly. Technique, again, is called Shodan. This is some of the intricacies of Shodan. Remember, American Jiu Jitsu LI, we have our Facebook page, our YouTube page, and also our email, which is gmail.com at American Jiu Jitsu LI. Our website is AJJ Centers for our Zoom classes, and we hope you're staying home healthy and safe. Uh, we're looking for a target date of July 15th, which we hope. The dojo is ready. It it's, uh, has safety stations. It has computers on the mats. It has six-foot sections on the mat. It has spin room. It's all plastic and clothes. Uh, we're ready. We're ready. We're just waiting for you and waiting for the governor to say it's all good. So stay home healthy and safe. Thank you always for viewing our videos. Uh, go to YouTube, like, and subscribe. We will see you soon. Have a great day. Next video is going to be on Nidan, second-degree technique. Have a great day, people. Let's...